Hello, everyone. My name is Han Xiong Chen. Today, I'm going to introduce our work, Neuron Collaborative Reasoning. Collaborative filtering is an important approach to recommend their systems. By leveraging the wisdom of uh, crop, collaborative filtering methods predict a user's future preferences based on his or her previous records. Many existing CF methods are designed based on the fundamental idea of similarity matching with other design or learned matching functions. However, as a cognitive rather than a perception task, recommendation requires not only the ability of pattern learning and match, but also the ability of cognitive reason. Because a user's future behavior may not be simply driven by its similarity with the user's previous behaviors, but by the user's cognitive reasoning procedure about what to do next. For example, if a user has purchased a laptop before, this does not lead to the user purchasing similar laptops in the future. Rather, one would expect the user to purchase further equipment such as a laptop bag. For another example, if we observe that a user purchased a mixing bowl and a sifter with the positive feedbacks, but dislike a hand whisk, then we can infer that he or she may want an electronic mixer. This can be naturally interpreted logically as like mixing bowl and sifter and dislike hand whisk implies like electronic mixer. We hope an intelligent recommender system would be able to conduct logical reasoning over data to predict the user's future behaviors for personalized recommendation. As a result, we propose a novel neuron collaborative reasoning framework, NCR, to bridge the symbolic logical reasoning and continuous embedding learning for recommendation. In the next few slides, I will introduce our framework from the following aspect. Firstly, I will introduce how to formalize the recommendation task into a logical reasoning problem. Then I will talk about how to build up a neurological architecture based on a given logical expression. After that, I will talk about logical regularization, which is the key part to grant logical meaning to the neural models. Lastly, I will show our learning algorithm for our framework. Here, we consider two common recommendation scenarios, interactions with implicit feedback and the explicit feedback. For reasoning with implicit feedback, we suppose that we are given a user U and his interacted items V1, V2, up to VR. The corresponding horn clause is given as I UV1 and I UV2 and up to and I UVR, implies I UVX. The left side is the conjunction form of the historical interactions, and the right side, I UVX is the target interaction we want to predict. Here, I UVI is an encoding function um, that need to be learned that show a user U interacted with atom VI. For reasoning with explicit feedback, we allow the users to express their preferences about interactions as positive or negative. Here, we add a negation operation before each interaction to represent a ne negative feedback from a user towards an interacted item. Just like the negative VR here. Then the horn clause is given as LUV1 and LUV2 and not LUVR implies LUVX. To distinguish the notations, we use L here for explicit feedback encoding function. According to the logical rules, if the implication is true and everything on the left side is true, then the only way to make the expression to be true is to let the right side variable to be true. This is, you know, this is important because under implicit feedback settings, all the observed interactions can be treated as true. So we have to uh, we have everything on the left side to be true, then to determine if we want to recommend atom Vx to the user u, we only need to make sure that the entire logic expression is true. Now we know how to get a logical expression by giving the user and the historical interaction. 
Next step is to know how to build up a neurological network based on the given logical expression. Here we define three neural modules, and, or, and not. Each module is a multi-layer perceptron with nonlinear activation function. Then we've defined a constant vector t to represent true in logical space. This is used for calculating the scoring function, which will be introduced later. It's constant, which means once it is initialized, it will not be updated during the learning process. We use EUV to represent the event vector of UV interaction, encoded by predicate function I or L. Then we use the Morgan's law to convert the form of the horn clause as follows. Figure A gives an example of implicit feedback neurological, net, uh, neurological network architecture. If we consider explicit feedback as what is given in figure B, the structure of the network can be diverse since some event embeddings need to be fed into the not module to get the negation form of the vector. We have defined three logical neural modules. However, by now, they're just a plain neural network. We need to guarantee that each logical module is really performing the expected logical operations in the latent space. To achieve this goal, we add a logical regularizer to the neural modules to constrain their behaviors. The regularizers and their corresponding laws are listed in the table. Here, X represents an event embedding which can be the original user item interaction or any intermediate event during the logical neural network calculation or the final output embedding of the logical expression. Seeing here is the scoring function, which is the similarity function we use the cosine similarity here. As noted before, T here, this is the constant vector representing the true and F here is representing the false, which is obtained through not T. We take the double negation rule R2 here as an example. Um, the basic idea is that if uh, we pass a vector into the not module twice, then this should be return a vector which is uh, similar to itself. So, the associative and the commutative laws cannot be easily represented as regularizers. Instead, we randomly shuffle the order of the input events every iteration during the training process to make the learning, uh, the learn and and or module satisfy these two laws. We choose cosine similarity as scoring function to calculate the similarity between output vector represented as EFP here and the T vector. Take the red figure example to introduce the process of the forward network. First, we get a user U and his interactive items and feed them into encoding function to gather their event vectors. Then if this is under an implicit feedback setting, the event vectors are sent to not module and then recurrently fit into or module to get the final output. The final output vector is the vector which represents the encoded logical expression. We calculate the all cosine similarity between logical expression vector and the T vector. The similarity score is treated as the score for current logical expression. As what we mentioned before, to decide if we need to recommend an atom Vx to a user U, we only need to decide if the logical expression is true. Here, we apply pairwise learning algorithm for training the model. For each observed user atom interaction, UVI, we sample one item which the user has never interacted. We denote it as a VJ here. We use this VJ to form a fake interaction. Then, we create two logical expressions and calculate their scores, SUI plus and SUJ minus. Then we optimize the model by maximizing the differences, uh, maximizing the difference between these two scores. 
the objective function is given here. The alpha here is an amplification factor, which is to guarantee that the input is appropriate for the sigmoid function. We experiment with three publicly available data sets. The statistics of the data sets are summarized in the table. The size of these three data sets range from 10K up to the million level, and they cover movies as well as e-commerce recommendation scenario. We choose various baselines, include shallow, deep, sequential, and state-of-the-art reasoning-based models. We first compare with the matching-based model. We see that among the first six baselines, GRU for REC and STAMP achieve the best performance in most cases. Since the two models use implicit feedback for modeling training, for fairness in comparison, we use our implicit model, NCRI, to compare with the two baselines. The results show that NCRI is better than the two baselines in most cases. Notice that our model shuffles the input variables in every epoch which means that we actually did not use the item ordering information. However, our neural collaborative reasoning approach can still outperform the two session-based models on most of the measures. When using its explicit feedback for model learning, we see that our NCRE model achieves even better performance. To verify the effectiveness of the logical regularization, we run experiments on three data sets by changing the coefficient of logical regularizers. We can see that it is useful to apply logical constraints to the neural network to improve the recommendation performance. However, the constraints need to be carefully adjusted. If the constraint is too weak or too strong, the performance of the model would be negatively influenced. Since the network structure is defined by the logical expression, so we need to do two experiments to evaluate the effect, uh, effect, the effect of logical uh, prior over structure. Actually, the logical expression on the left side can be equivalently converted to one and two for. Equation one is what we have introduced before. Equation two comes with the three logical modules, which include the one more module and here. We call the model in equation two form as EQ model. Another model is a logically non-equivalent model, noted as a comparative model. Figure B shows the structure of the model. You can see that the model attempts to use a future event to predict the previous events, which violates our logical intuition about the recommendation task. From the results given in the table, we see that both NCR and the EQ model consistently outperform the GRU for REC baseline. Well, the com comparative model is generally not better than the baseline. Besides, the comparative model is significantly worse than the original NCRE model. This observation shows that a correct and a reasonable logical structure is important to the performance of the model. Here is a summary of our work. We propose a neuron collaborative reasoning, NCR framework, which models recommendation as a reasoning task by integrating logical structures and the neural network for personalized recommendation. Experiments show that our model provides significant improvements on the ranking performance. Our work provides a very fundamental framework to integrate learning and reasoning which conducts neurologic reasoning on top of learned vector space. This inspires a wide scope of possibility for the future work. So here we list some uh, future work that can be conducted in the, and explored in the future. So uh, our code has been released and the more details can be found in our paper. So thank you for watching.